Welcome to this demo brought to you by Educatia, where we present our online course, which is the Power BI Financial Reporting with Advanced Ratio Analysis. So what I'll be doing in this demo is taking you doing a bit of a walkthrough um, about um, to show you all the reports that we design in Power BI and just showcasing you a bit of our financial ratios and uh, visualizations that we do as well. So before we get start into the Power BI reports, I first want to just show you the source. So the source for this course is we used an Excel, Excel based model. And what we've uh, used is uh, our case studies based on Amazon's five year financial statements starting from 2015 all the way through to 2019. We use the income statement, line items with the data. We use the balance sheet, detailed line items between assets, liabilities, and equity. And then also the cash flow. We use the detailed cash flow statement. So this is the primary source that we use for online course, which is Excel. Once we've done a bit of transformation and clean up in Excel and uh, create additional columns and, and things like that, we then import the data into Power Query, and Power Query is the backend of Power BI. We do, the, we do a bit of transformation to the data there, and once we clean up that data, we then import that into Power BI, and then we start building our visualizations. Our course is 100% online, it's self-paced, uh, you have lifetime access. There's over 60 videos, instructor-led videos that, that I lead, and uh, I explain to you step-by-step step what to do. Um, there's over 70 steps that you can do. Um, the course is about seven hours uh, long in terms of watching it. And if you add, say, another five hours of doing it yourself, as, as you're watching the videos, you can add another five hours. So that gives you about, say, say 10 to 12 hours to complete this course. Uh, once you've built your own model in Power BI, you need to send it to me as an assignment, which I will review. And uh, if, if it meets the, meets the standard, then um, I'll um, accept it and then you can download your certificate of completion. So the high level is uh, it's an overview of, 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 of what the course is about. So now I'm gonna take you through what you actually get to design from scratch. All right, so the first report we design is the income statement or the PL. And what you'll see here is, uh, you'll see this bar at the top here, and this is what we call a, a slicer. Now it's dynamic. Now let's say, for example, we wanna look at Amazon's results for 2016. What you'll see happening here is that the numbers will change dynamically. So there's 2016, which is the actual year of the selected year, and the previous year results are there, being 2015. If I go to 2017, we'll see the same, 2018, and then 2019. So as you can see, the numbers are changing. So that's what we call dynamic reporting. Let's say we want to drill down into the details. We can either click on the plus button here, which gives us the details of revenue. Let's say we want to look at operating expenses. There's all my line items. It will show you the current year's value, the comparative, what the movement was year on year. It will show you the horizontal and the vertical analysis percentages. If you want to drill down into everything, you just click on this button here, which says drill down one level into the hierarchy, and it will show you all the line items. So this is typically the income statement, and uh, you know it's it's all visualized in one table in one in one report so you don't have to go to multiple reports to check each period that's the great thing about power bi is by creating dynamic reports like this you can just flip between the periods and uh, look at the data now to design this you need to do you need to know dax and dax is a data analyst analyst analytics expression and it's basically a, a, a language in in power bi to write measures and measures are typically like say like Excel formulas, but to get that uh, it's, it's quite technical. But uh, our course will take you, will teach you all the most common DAX formulas to use and in order to create these type of visualizations. Okay, so that's the income statement. The next report we design together is the balance sheet. And this is typically the balance sheet. So you can see assets, liabilities and equity. And then also you can see all your current assets there, all the details. So in this example, I've got 2018 as my selected year. And there's the comparators for 2017 or 2018. So if I move on to 2017, in 2016, you'll see the numbers change. So again, dynamic reporting with variances and uh, analysis percentage movements. If you want again, if you want to drill down the details, just click on the table. Just roll it up and expand it. So now you can see 
There's my whole balance sheet with all my line items. Current assets, non-current assets, current liabilities, non-current liabilities, and equity. So this is not a, a technical accounting course. This is a Power BI course. And what I mean by that is that I sometimes do get questions from, from people to say, do I, do I need to have a financial background to do this course? Ideally, the course is designed for specifically for finance and accounting professionals. So I would assume that you've already got that skill. Um, my purpose is to teach you how to design reports in Power BI. Now, you classify, you may classify your, uh, your line items differently between current assets and current, current liabilities, etc. Uh, you may have a different format of your balance sheet and, and cash flow statement and income statement, but that's not the purpose of this course. The purpose of the course is to teach you the principles and techniques to be able to design this in Power BI. How you classify your items, that's not the purpose of this course. All right, so we've covered, so that's, that's the balance sheet. We can roll that up again. So you can see it's all dynamic reporting. We'll move on to our cash flow statement. And there's a summary cash flow statement. Also dynamic. And if we want to see the year, if you want to see the details, we just drill down and the users can check the data. Great thing about Power BI is that once you've created these reports in Power BI, you can share it with users and decision makers and they've got their own flexibility in terms of what data they want to see, which is great. All right, so that's our cash flow statement. Once we've done that, done that we move on to our margin analysis charts. And what we do is we just create some simple line charts looking at, uh, especially at uh, profit margins. And this is just to teach you, to start you off with how to design simple visualizations in Power BI. The great thing is in Power BI is if you hover over it, it gives you the amounts. You can quickly see the trends. Okay, so once we've done that, we then move on to designing area charts. So again, also looking at profit margins, we did just look at profit margins, uh, look at everything relative to revenue, operating expenses, gross profit, EBIT, net income. And again, this is just to teach you principles it doesn't mean that you have to use the same charts in your own environment but we want you to get a feel of how to design these these charts so this is what we call the area chart so for example there's my revenue line and there's my opex all right so after we've done area charts we do then waterfall charts so waterfall charts shows you uh, it's a great visual to use to show you the movement year on year between different uh, items and we've used the income statement items in this example. So, for example, look at revenue. It will show us the revenue for each period. And it will show us the cumulative movement. And again, what's nice is you create a dynamic slicer here that you set up for all your different line items. So, the user that you're sending your supports to, they can select the ones that they want to see. And uh, it gives them nice flexibility. Again, we teach you how to design this. So once we've done the full waterfall chart, that's basically the introduction part of our, of our course. So that's where we teach you how to build the three-way financial statement model. We then move on to the ratio analysis dashboards. So the first one we do is our profitability analysis. What we do here is we look at four ratios, gross profit margin, operating profit margin, EBIT to revenue, and net income to revenue. And the aim of this is to teach you how to build these type of dashboards with uh, with relative measures and uh, dynamic dynamic charts. So what I mean by the dynamic charts, if you look at, for example, this year slicer here, if, if you keep an eye on this, this is the selected year results, meaning that this is 2017's results because I've selected 2017. If I select 2018, you'll see the numbers are changing, 2019, and so on and so forth. At the same time, when I select 2016, you'll see it will show me the current year's value as well as prior year and the movement for gross profit, operating profit, and net income. So if you keep a, your eye on the bottom left as I'm changing it, you'll see the numbers are changing, which is a nice way. This table, yes, this is a summary table. We teach you how to design the summary table, just highlighting all our ratios for each year. Then the exciting part is this relative measures. And what we do here is we teach you how to create area charts for our key measures. And as you can see, when you click on there, it changes. 
So what this is doing here is looking at, rel at, at revenue relative to EBIT, gross profit, net profit, and operating profit. At the same time, we teach you how to create area charts for your rate for financial ratios and profitability. So we've got the EBIT modern. So you'll see when I click on that, it shows us a trend from 2015 to 2019, which is a period of our data that we've imported. We've got net profit there. We've got our operating profit margins. Great. All right. So that's our profitability analysis that we do. We then move on to our liquidity analysis. And again, we build the selected year metrics, our financial ratios. In this instance, is cash cash ratio, current ratio, quick ratio, working capital. Now, the financial ratios that we use in this course, um, we've uh, it, it's not to say they are necessarily the right financial ratios for your business. Uh, again, the point is just to illustrate what you can how you design financial ratio measures in Power BI. All right, so we've got selected here. So if I go 2015, that was 2015's results. You see now it's 2016, that changes. 2017, 2018, and 2019. Again, we've got a static financial performance summary showing all our liquidity ratios year on year. We've got a composition of current assets and current liabilities. This is just to demonstrate um, uh, the use of a donut chart. So if you keep an eye on that and I change it, you'll see the composition changes every year. All right, over here, we've got a, a waterfall chart again that we use to uh, track movement. And what we do here is like, if I want to look at what's, what was the cash, cash and cash equivalent movements here on here, I'll just click on that and it will show me there. And I look at current assets, I look at current liabilities, and I look at working capital, going back there. So as you can see, it's moving as I select the numbers. Okay, and lastly, for the liquidity analysis, we show you the trends of all our current ratios, starting from 2015 to 2019. So if you look at the cash ratio, there's the cash ratio, current ratio, quick ratio, working capital. So the amount of flexibility that you've got in just one page of reporting is amazing. All right, that covers our liquidity analysis. Then we go into our operational efficiency analysis. And here we look at AR, AP, days, inventory and our operating cycle and again this is just to illustrate how to design different visualizations so there's my current year selected year so you see the numbers change we've also got a tree map visualization that just shows you the composition between your ap days your inventory days and your AR days which we teach you how to build and again we've got a dynamic chart here if you want to look at the ap trend there's our ap trend there's our ar See, IOR has increased from 8 to 20 days. Inventory days went from 26 to 45, and then it's fairly flat until a bit of an improvement in 2019 to 42. And there's our operating cycle, which is fairly consistent. All right, and then we just do, again, an area chart just to show our movement in our revenue against our accounts receivable and the average accounts receivable versus the average accounts payable, just to check trends. Right, so that's operational efficiency analysis. We then move on to our cash flow analysis, which is always an important analysis in any type of business. Again, so we start off with our selected year results, which changes as we select that. We've got our static financial performance summary table that we do. Um, we've got our, our uh, dynamic chart that changes as we select our uh, ratios and then here we've got cash cycle cash generating power ratio current liability coverage ratio long-term debt ratio and free cash flow and then lastly uh, we show what's our what's our movement in our cash from funding activities investing activities free cash flow net cash movement and our operating cash flow all right so once we've done that we go to our returns analysis, and this is where we look at return on assets, return on debt, return on equity, return on net assets. Again, starting off with our selected year. It changes as we change the charts. We look at our, at the, our financial ratio trends. You can see, if you look at return on assets, nice increase. Return on equity, bit of a drop there. Return on net assets as well. All right, and here also waterfall chart shows me my movement, my net, net profit, my current assets, total assets, total equity, 
total liabilities in your working capital. So again, the amount of visibility that you've got from Power BI just in this one report is amazing. And then what we do is we move on to the debt analysis and we also do the same. We design all our selected year results and you'll see this is also dynamic. Here we look at a pie chart as an example, total li liabilities versus total um, assets. And you can just see the composition there. Um, we've got our, our table. Here we've got the debt ratio, debt to equity, long-term debt to total assets and non-current assets to equity. And we, we finish off with a, a debt ratio trend. All our trends and our ratios. Close on. All right, so that gives us a good uh, gives you a, a good overview of what you get to design. Um, it's it's by no means uh, easy. Um, a Power BI can be quite complicated to get your head around, um, but my aim is to help simplify it for you. Um, I take you away from having to know all the technical jargon, but in hindsight, as you complete this, as you do this course, and you complete it, you'll actually be amazed at how much you've actually learned about Power BI. Um, and, uh, you know, I just believe this is the new way of reporting that Power BI at the time of this video has been around for five years. It's growing, it's always changing. And uh, I, I believe it's a, it's a great skill for finance and accounting professionals to have. Um, it just demonstrates your tech savvy skills. And if you can do uh, bold reports like this, um, I believe you've become a go-to go -to resource for, for storytelling in the business or financial performance, you know, business insight um, and analytics. And, uh, you know, you can, uh, with, with this course, you'll be able to showcase your new skills. So um, I hope to see you on the course. And if you've got any questions, reach out to me on LinkedIn. Okay, cheers, bye.